now shift our attention to the other ship, barreling due south at a brisk 12 knots. That fine British frigate, the, the Wasp! Wasp! Lord Asher ushers roughly below deck. Captain Scott's compliments. Do go in. Awfully cramped for a captain's quarters. No frills on a frigate. Sir Sanchez! Hold the door, too. There's a good fellow. Where's the captain, Lieutenant? I'm no lieutenant. I told a lie. Unthinkable! British never lie! <laughs> but pirates do, don't we, boys? <laughs> I demand to see Captain Scott! As you wish. Scotto! Robbie, release this man immediately! I'll take that key to that treasure trunk of yours. You'll have to kill me first. Well, I was gonna kill you second, but I'm flexible! <laughs> <laughs> He's coming out in a nasty mood! In a nasty mood! And you're the captain, I suppose? I, sir. I, sir. You, sir. No, sir. Not me, sir. That's me, sir. That's me, sir, but no captain, I, sir. You lied, sir. Oh, no, sir. The devil himself's in charge hereabouts. <laughs> the devil, you say? Our satanic supervisor. Foul and nasty with a cloven hoof. How one, let's say, identify him in the crowd? By his cookie duster, that's how. And does he have a name? The pirate captain they call... Francis! Hello. Oh, to be in England, now that April's there. But those not in England get to see my facial hair. <laughs> now you're likely wondering, can this fellow before you be entirely evil? Can no compassion uncrease this furrowed brew? Brow. Brow. <laughs> well, fret not, mon frere. I'm a romantic. There's a poet in these pirate veins. And so I plug into the muse. But what to do? Which style to use? Iambic? Box office poison. Haiku! Over my dead granny, mind the cuticle, Smee! Huh! Ah. I've got it. A pirate with scads of panache. What's the key to the trunk with the cash? But here's some advice, though I may seem nice, I'll cut you! Slit you one side and down the other so you can watch your stomach flop around on the deck! I say, Smee, you did explain to my lord here that I'm a bloodthirsty outlaw. I kept him, but he still wouldn't give up the key. We haven't got time for this, Smee. People have paid for nannies and parking. <laughs> I'll have to do this myself, or I'm not, I'm not, what am I? Black <laughs> oh. They refer, of course, to this. The trademark nose brush of every man, woman, and child in the family, dating right back to the amoeba. This face foliage is so much more than a lawn on the lips, sir. Tis what we are, and why? We are it. And when everyone left the pirate business, the stash stuck it out, knowing one day my ship would come in. This is the day. This is the ship. Now cough up the key. Never. I say, Smee, what is it the men call me? Nancy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other thing. <laughs> Rufus. Guilty as charged! Now, give us the key. Never. Playing games is for children, Lord Ass. Tur. <laughs> and I hate, I hate, I hate children! Bring it in, Gomez! Uh, it, it's Sanchez, sir. Just bring it in. <laughs> the wasp is mine now, and everything on her belongs to me. Including the trunk silly, uh, including the trunk Victoria thought nobody knew about. Silly old queen. God save her. Queen. God save her. Victoria. God save her. Banana. God save her. Oh! Here's two things. When I open this swag, I'll be the single most significant pirate in the world, the solar system, or anywhere else yet to be discovered in the universe. The second thing is a dilemma, a rather large one, the Cadillac Escalade of dilemmas. <laughs> A little birdie tells me that your darling daughter is sailing to Rondoon on the safer southern route aboard a ship called the Naval Nerd. Neverland. Huh? Neverland. <laughs> Same letters. Uh, Naval Nerd, Neverland. I was, I was pretty close. I was pretty <laughs> darn close. Splitting rabbits, really. Hairs. Splitting hairs. <laughs> but just a sec, just a sec. 
Now, I know you love your molly above rubies, but what say you? We take a little detour. We can pluck molly off the, the Neverland, and you can watch her die. Unless, of course, you're feeling a teensy bit more amendable. Ooh, love your locket, but what's in your pocket? Oh, please, allow me. Done and dusted, kippers and custard. Here's the key, boys. It's my father, he's in trouble. Her neck thing is ringing. And glowing. Don't ask me about that. I'm the leader, I can ask whatever I want. Lay off, Prentice. <laughs> Come on, you gotta tell. All right, my father's on a secret mission for the Queen. What's the mission? Molly, where are you? Shh, and down this gangway. <coughs> Molly, what was it called when we ate last night? Pork belly pie, pork chops, and pork salad. Greatest night of my life. <laughs> and there'll be more tomorrow if we don't get caught. Keep moving. Pork. Beautiful. Boy, one. don't open that cabin! Holy! Thanks! Cat flying! I now ask you to imagine a grown cat in flight. Suspended from space as if hanging from a string. Of course, the boys don't have to imagine. Because there they are. There's the cat. And the cat is <clears throat> definitely flying. And those bells are definitely ringing. And the cabin is definitely glowing. Ringing, glowing, flying, it can only mean one thing. Stop, stop. The queen's trunk is in Slank's cabin. All right, nothing to see here, move along. But that cat was... No, it wasn't. Uh, Teddy's right. Your neck thing was totally ringing and that cat was totally... Uh, how's flying. about a bedtime story? That sounds fun, doesn't it? What's a bedtime story? Oh, ha, ha, very fun. Oh, you poor things. Hard to imagine a bedtime story when you don't even have a bed. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I Tell you what, you say sorry so easy, like the rough patches are smoothed over and everything's fixed. Well, no, there's dark in the world, a massive darkness, and if you get trapped in that cave like us, it beats you down. Sorry can't fix anything, it's better to say nothing than sorry. When it's night and I'm too scared to sleep, I look through the cracks, you know, between the wood nailed over the window place. And I see all these little stars that I just can't reach. I think that maybe in a hundred years, or two, or three hundred maybe, boys will be free. And no one will ever say sorry again, because nobody will have to. I think about that a lot. Wow, that's more than you said in the last thirteen years. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, bedtime story is not a big priority, okay? No, it, it's not okay. I'm gonna give you one. Least I can do. Um, like Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty's a good one. There's True Love's Kiss in it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> then I'll tell you. Come back to your cabin and I'll be mother. Okay, so, the story of Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, that's how they always start. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful baby born. <sighs> and that beautiful baby had a big bushy handlebar. Mm -hmm. And it grew out as he grew up. And they both lived awfully ever after. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <sighs> From this day forth, it'll be nothing but pleasure cruises and the All America's Cup for me. Now, uh, open. And open. Prepend. What is that? It's sand, sir. Sand? But that's impossible. When you say sand, do you mean the utterly worthless, granular material one often associates with the water's edge? Yes, Captain. I see. Perhaps you think a treasure trunk sawed treasure would put my heretical BVDs in a twist. How wrong you are. Well, yes, I'd hope to be hip deep in diamonds. They're a poor substitute for what I really crave. A bona fide hero to make me feel whole. For without a hero, what am I? A villain in part. A pirate in part, ruthless but toothless. But then I saw a heroic old Jew, and I thought to myself, maybe? Can it be? Is he the one I've waited for? Would he, for example, give up something precious for the daughter he loves? But alas, he gives up sand. Now, let's see here. A hero with treasure, very good. A hero and no treasure, doable. No hero and a trunk full of sand, not so much. Now where's my treasure? What if they swap the trunks? Swapped, you say? Stupid idea, Smee. Stupid, stupid. Swapped, yes. Right there on the butch. I mean, 
Swamped, yes, right there on the duck. Deck. Deck. In which case... In which case, the trunk with the treasures on the Neverland. Destiny check. What do we know about the Neverland? She's a slow ship. Sadly slow. And what of our ship, the Wolf? We fast. <laughs> Super fast. <laughs> which means we're leagues ahead of her by now, Einstein. Hard about, change of course. You're behind this, Aster. Or I'm the Queen of England. God save her. Shut up. <laughs> I said hard about, Gomez. Uh, it's Sanchez, sir. Hit the pedal, Gretel. Oh, that's Sanchez, sir. Burn the rubber, Bubba. Uh, my sash isn't even real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the game is on. The die is cast. The chase is afoot. I want that treasure, boys. Catch me in Neverland. <laughs>